All right, good morning, Carver Cougars. It's Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. Can you believe that we are halfway through this month? I feel like April Fool's was just yesterday. But before we start class, let's make sure that you have everything that you need. Double check. Do you have your pencil and your packet right next to you? If you don't, pause this video so that you have time to get it. That leads me into expectation two. When I say pause, please pause the video and fill out your next section. Also, if I'm doing a countdown and you're like, ah, 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 I'm running out of time, just pause the video. You know, this learning is for you and you move at your pace. Um, step three, at the end of the video, there will be an exit ticket on Teams. So yes, fill out your exit ticket in your packet which is the second page for me but also fill it out on team so that i know how you're doing and please 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 take your time because something i've noticed is people are rushing through and they're like man but today will be fun let's have some fun let's move forward okay let's go into spark so Today is Work It Wednesday. At the corner of your paper, go ahead and write this sentence down. I am working towards improving blank blank. We're not perfect and it actually helps us as humans to constantly work on ourselves. So what is something that you could be working towards improving? Maybe in your schoolwork? in your health maybe i am working towards improving turning in my online assignments or i am working towards improving being nicer to my little sister even though she gets on my nerves you decide what you're going to work towards improving and then actually go and do it go ahead and i'll give you maybe you pause the video and then you work on your spark and then unpause when you're ready. Thank you. Thank you for making sure that you write in complete sentences and promising to work towards improving something in your life. Let's go ahead and go to our do now. Make sure that you're tracking. So step one says read each sentence. Step two says write in the correct verb to complete each sentence. So verb, what is a verb? Remember a verb is a and blank word. I'll give you 10 seconds to fill that out. 10. Nine, eight, seven. Okay, a verb is an action word. If you got that right, kiss your brain. Awesome. So that a verb is an action word or something that you can do. So you have a word box right here with words like am, draw, ride, are, ran, and write. These are all verbs. Which verbs would make the most sense to put in your do now? I want you to go ahead and pause so that you can fill this out. Okay, thank you for pausing your video and also using your word box or resources to make these complete sentences. So number one, let's go ahead and check our work. Number one, Jack ran across the fields 
and made a goal. If you said ran, give yourself a check. If you did not, please correct it. Natalie can draw a picture with a crayon. I am happy that I got to ride my bike. Thank you. Again, make sure you're checking your answers as we go. Make sure you're spelling it correctly because it's spelled correctly right here. So of course you're gonna spell it correctly right here. I will write a story about a dog. They are going to the parade. Awesome, thank you for checking your do now. This moves on to what we're learning about today. Today we're learning about a fancy word that it's called personification. Sound that out. Personification. So it has the word person in it. Say it by yourself. Awesome. Look at you using college level words. So personification is when human traits, remember personification, and qualities are given to animals, objects, or ideas. Personification is when a non-human, an animal, an object, or an idea acts like a, a person, exactly. So, good writers use personification to describe. Why do we use personification? To describe. It's just a more fun and interesting way of saying something. Hint, look for your action verb or word. So, you're going to ask yourself, and I'll write the question right here. Go ahead and pick your pencil up and do the same. Can this idea, object, or animal actually do this? Can this idea, object, or animal actually do this? I'm going to give you about 30 seconds on my timer to make sure that you have this question down. Because this will help you identify and even write personification. Awesome, 20 more seconds. Awesome. So let's go ahead and go to the first example. The directions are to complete the chart. My computer hates me. Draw what it sounds like. So I did a little clip art picture of a computer and he's sticking his tongue out and he's throwing a fit. Can this computer actually do this. Can it, the computer or technology that you're using, will it actually throw a fit and stick its tongue out at you and say that you're garbage? That's what it sounds like. However, what does it actually mean? So what is being described? What does the writer mean? It just means that my computer is not working correctly. That's all it means. But you can say it in personification, a little more interesting way, my computer hates me. 
let's go ahead and go to bright flowers dance joyfully in the meadow. What would that look like? Go ahead and draw a picture of some bright flowers dancing joyfully in the meadow. I'm going to give you 30 seconds just to make a quick little doodle. Timer's on. Five more seconds. Okay. So I just drew a picture of some flowers dancing and having a great time. Can flowers actually do that? So I have some flowers right here for my kitchen table. Can these flowers actually dance? Can they actually do this? Come on, flowers, dance. Do the cha-cha. No, they can't. So this is, again, personification. So this just means that the flowers are swaying maybe in the meadow, like they're moving because of the wind. That's what it actually means. Okay, you're going to read the example, and draw what it sounds like, just a quick doodle, and then tell me what it actually means in this third column. I want you to practice with three, four, five, and six. So on number five, there's this word that you may or may not know, and the word is unkempt. We know that un means not, so unkempt means it's... Um, very messy like people aren't take, they are not taking care of it it's unkempt unkempt a synonym is messy go ahead and pause your video we will go over our examples and i'll share my drawings and you can share yours too thank you for pausing your video Okay, let's talk about it. On number three, it says, the cactus begged for water. Can a cactus actually beg you for water? So I do a little cactus and said, hey, please have some water with a little cup. If you're in the desert, are you gonna see a cactus do this? Absolutely not, that's personification. Cactus can't actually beg you for anything. So, what does this mean when a cactus is begging you for water? Let me see if I can make the light come off, if that's better. Nope, that's worse. All right. So, what it actually means, double check your answer to see if you have something very close. The cactus is dry and needs water. When you say the cactus begged for water, it just means that your cactus is dry and needs water. Number four says, the chunky dog's collar chewed at her neck. Can a collar chew? Let me go get my dog's collar. So this is my dog's collar. 
Can this collar do anything? Not actually. So this collar can't actually chew. I drew a picture of a collar pretending to meow, 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 like chew a dog snack. However, what this actually means, double check to make sure you have something um, close to what I have. The dog's collar is really super tight. And so when a dog's collar is chewing it, it's really, really tight on their neck. So it just sounds more interesting to say, I mean, if you were a writer or a poet, does it sound more interesting to say the chunky dog's collar chewed at her neck or the chunky dog's collar is tight? I would say this one sounds more interesting. Don't you agree? That's why we use personification. So number five, the house was lazy and un unkempt. It wasn't mowed in years. So can your house actually be lazy and not want to do anything and maybe just take a little nappy nap? No, a house can't be actually lazy, right? So again, that's personification. We're saying that this house can do actions that have human qualities. It just means that the house was not cared for by its owners. So maybe the owners were late, a little lazy and they made all this grass grow all, all over the lawn. So number six, news travels fast. I know we've heard this sentence before. Everyone is talking about the latest gossip, the latest cheese Again, can news actually travel so fast that maybe they want to race? Can news actually do this? No. So what does this mean? What does the writer mean when they say news travels fast? It means people hear news quickly because people gossip. People talk a lot. So double check your work. Again, it does not have to be word for word, but I do want it to be in complete sentences because you're college ready. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the back. Again, please make sure that it is done on your paper so that whenever we get the packets back, the teachers can grade it and give you an awesome grade. But also you can find this online on Teams so that I can see how you're doing. But the directions say, underline the idea, object, or animal being personified and circle what they're doing, their action. That makes an example of personification. So our example is the sun danced across the sky on a hot sum summer's day. Can the sun actually dance? No, so the sun is being personified. So I would underline sun And then what is it doing? It's dancing. But we know that sons can't actually dance. So again, please fill this out. One through 18. Underline the idea, object, or animal that's being personified. Circle what it's doing. If you need help, please send me a message on Teams or join me on Blue Jeans from one to three but I hope y'all have a great day. Again, when you're finished with doing it on paper, go ahead and do it on Teams. All right, bye.